The Prophet said sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam that the last people to come out to Dajjal will be women. Are you going to be angry with him for that? Our sisters in the world of Islam who have taken up the cause of the feminist movement are you going to be angry with the Prophet for that? Do you have more knowledge than he has? Is he a male chauvinist now? <laughs> he said that the last people to come out to Dajjal will be women. And a man would have to return to his home and his family and tie down his wife and sister and daughter to protect them from Dajjal, to coercively restrain them, to protect them from Dajjal. Are you going to be angry with Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam? Then kindly part company from us. Because what this hadith indicates is that women who fall under the influence of Dajjal, not all will do that. No, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, we have sisters in Islam who cannot be seduced by Dajjal, who will not give up the hijab, not for anything. What this hadith indicates is that women who come under the influence of Dajjal are going to be brainwashed. I don't know whether you have a term in Bahasa for that. You do? Brainwashed. <laughs> Meaning, you could talk as much as you want. You will not be able to convince them. It's an exercise in futility. Because they are brainwashed. Talking to them and warning them is like throwing water on the back of a duck. It'll just flow off. Hmm? Brainwashed. They will lose the capacity for rational thinking. And become like robots in the hands of the child. And this is why you have to coercively restrain them, tie them down to protect your sister, your daughter, your wife who is now trapped by Dajjal. We say that this is the explanation, this hadith, this is the explanation of a modern western feminist revolution which is taking the world by storm for the last hundred years and more. We say that Dajjal is the mastermind of the modern Western feminist revolution. You may differ with us because you are brainwashed. So your differences with us makes no difference to us because you are incapable of rational understanding when Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam has spoken in the way that he has spoken. Don't be angry with me tonight. I have a job to do. <laughs>